Hello, so this is going to be a recommended video on glove protection for NBC scenarios, which is a requested video. At least I assume it was what different types of gloves are there, other than show us all of the gloves you've got in all your various NBC suits. Because that's a bit pointless, because most NBC suits come with butyl gloves, um, so you're kind of just looking at various examples of almost the same thing, whereas this video will cover the different levels of protection and what's available. So, first we have these sort of gloves, which I'm sure you all know, they're like the latex kind of medical gloves. Now, these aren't great for NBC use at all. Uh, they're certainly better than nothing, but apparently things like lewisite and mustard gas eat through these gloves very, very quickly. Um, so, obviously, you're in danger of skin contamination almost instantly if certain chemical weapons are used. Again, I'd pick them over nothing. Uh, the good thing of these gloves, of course, are uh, the little latex sort of surgical gloves, is that... Um, you can manipulate your fingers very well with them on because they're so thin. I know there's variants of these gloves made with different kinds of rubbers, but as far as I understand, when they're so thin, that's what allows the chemicals to eat through them. If somebody made butyl versions of these gloves, very, very thin, then I might be a bit more interested in them. For the most part, use these as a last resort, but probably best not to use them at all. Now, there is kind of a civilian easy-to-come-by glove, which is good, and it's these. They're basically the Marigolds or the Marigold rip-offs. Uh, so if I get one out of the packet, uh, you'll know which kind of gloves these are when you see them. It's these sort of gloves. So, I'm sure you're all very familiar with those. Dish gloves, if you want to call them that. If you look at the thickness of the rubber in these, these are much thicker. Um, now, actually, you can find soldiers, believe it or not, wearing these in NBC scenarios. I think some militaries, if they don't have enough proper NBC gloves, actually buy loads of these and hand them out to the soldiers. The reason being they're designed not to react with lots of chemicals, hence why they're used in dishwashing sort of stuff and household cleaning gloves when you're using bleaches and things. The whole point is, you know, they can't, they're can't. designed not to um, react things. Um, so it says, yeah, these are 100% natural latex, um, and apparently it's got some sort of flock lining, so I guess the lining in there as well gives you a bit of extra protection. You've got the latex, and then you've got another kind of layer inside that's meant to be less reactive to the skin. Again, I still would not want these over butyl gloves, but the point is that you can get these gloves, um, you know, if you want to get NBC gloves on the cheap, they're certainly better than nothing, and they're certainly better than the thin latex gloves, and as I said, you can find pictures of soldiers wearing bright yellow or bright kind of fluorescent pink uh, dish gloves with NBC gear when I guess they haven't had the proper gloves issued. Oh, if you're wondering why I'm looking like some sort of hipstery director, I've got this hat on that's soaked in water to keep my head cold because it's very hot, and I've got my neck cooler thing arrived, so that's soaked in water to try and keep my neck cool. So I will see how well these work, but if you're thinking I look very pretentious, that's why I've got it on. It's not for looks, it's for keeping me cold. Um, Okay, another thing is that these sort of gardening gloves, now, these are very old, so I would not recommend a pair this old, but I'm sure you'll know the sort of thing. Um, I won't get them all out, but they're the kind of rubber-coated sort of fabric gloves. Again, not as good as actual NBC gloves, because the rubber coating isn't as thick, but, you know, again, a fabric glove coated in rubber is probably better than nothing. Um, I think my Polish communist um, rubber NBC gloves are fabric coated in rubber because, again, it kind of works. There's always a trade-off between how manipulable, you know, the glove is and useful compared to how thick and, like, protective it is. You always have a trade-off of that. Okay, so latex CBRN gloves. Uh, these are East German ones, and I believe they are definitely latex, so let me get my hand into one of these. Um, so, as you can see, the thing is with actual NBC gloves is they tend to be fairly gigantic. And the reason for that is, I guess, most armies did a kind of one-size-fits-all approach of the glove. Um, and, you know, they were designed to obviously go down your arm long enough that they could connect to the NBC suit properly. Now, um, you can probably see on there upside down, it says NVA, National Volks Army, East Germany. Um, so this has got some sort of grip coating, but I believe these are actually latex, not butyl, because I believe they made them out of the same sort of stuff as the gas masks and the NBC suits. As you can see, that comes a long way down my arm. This would be very good if you were trying to do a Doctor Doom impression with a dip, I'd guess. Um, but other than that, these aren't the most comfortable gloves for obvious reasons. Uh, you really lose grip, pretend, uh, grip you know, potential of these on. That's one of the things I really hate with NBC gloves, is that when you've got them on, you can't really interact with anything very well. It's actually hard to put one glove on, then try and put the other glove on and get the suit all around it, because it's so clumsy trying to fumble around. And by far the best NBC gloves you can get at the moment, I've seen anyway, 
is the butyl type ones. So these are my West German gloves, and these are butyl rubber. And butyl rubber is like what the S10 is made of. Again, it's a long glove, not as long as the East German one by any sort of measure. But these are, again, same sort of drawbacks and pros. Um, butyl is better than the latex ones, though, just simply because, you know, it's less reactive. Um, offer you very good levels of protection, but obviously very warm and uncomfortable. Um, that I know there are further variants of gloves, like if you go into a shop and look at the chemical area where they sell gloves, there are lots more variants, but generally they're all like kind of little variants on the others, like the latex gloves that go further up your arm, uh, the over mittens, like you can get plastic sort of over mittens that go up and go up your arm, um, which are meant to wear latex gloves under when you're dealing with infectious substances. It really depends what you're going to be exposed to, but for the most part, um, you know, these sort of gloves aren't very comfortable. I've never seen a, um, I suppose there's probably a way I'm meant to tie this, but, um, you know, I have never seen an actual, um, you know, comfortable uh, set of NBC gloves that would actually be thick and protective. Most NBC gloves I've seen have kind of been, like I said, the really heavy duty ones that, while they're going to protect you, are not comfortable at all. All, you know, you can get like little latex gloves which are very thin and probably don't offer much protection at all, but you can use them properly. Um, what you might be better in doing, as I said, like the gardening gloves, is looking for um, a glove that's guaranteed to be 100% waterproof and maybe chemical resistant, but it's actually not made so much as a chemical glove. Now, that might sound a bit strange, but what I'm sort of getting at is the, um, like how I've got the riot gloves, and they're designed to be totally waterproof in case people throw acid at you or throw burning petrol at you or something like that. So the riot gloves are very good for that reason. The riot gloves are definitely easier to manipulate your fingers in than the big butyl sort of latex gloves, especially because you pick your size a lot more than getting a one size fits all or, you know, in two or three different sizes for absolutely everybody glove. So there's a lot more ways you can do it, but in general just be aware that um you know, NBC gloves are not comfortable or practical things. And as I said, the most practical ones are kind of the least useful and vice versa so you can't really win when it comes to NBC gloves I think unless you think outside of the box and get something um, more interesting whether or not you could double up a load of these gloves I don't know I don't know how well that would work but I'd assume if a Lewisite can eat through those sort of gloves in seconds having a few layers on isn't going to do much to help you but there you go hopefully you found this video interesting on NBC gloves and hopefully for the person who requested it this is kind of the video they wanted to see